Today we are here with a tutorial on a little interesting thing. Here we go. I'm holding it right now. Let's see if you can guess it. Oh no, I died. It's this little guy right here. This is an interesting block. Now, you probably would not know this, but our spawn is way far away over there somewhere. I don't know. It's just stupidly far away. So, with this little thing, I spawn right there just by putting in a simple command and having a redstone device attached to it. This item is not a normal item. This is only for opt players in a server or if you have permission to use this. And to get it, you have to type in slash G-I-V-E give player's name the number ID which is 137 and then the amount of bricks you want which say we just want 20 it has to be within a stack and if you look in the upper hand corner Rick is just showing the stuff we have in our server so give player name amount or um, ID and then amount then you click enter and it gives it to you. One, three, seven. You have to rig up a little contraption if you just want to use it normal. It's a redstone powered device, so you can use it however you want. It pretty much powers just like TNT. You, the way I like to do it, is to build a nice little thing to hold it up. Now, when you want to place a brick on top of here, it pulls up a menu, so don't place a brick up top. Just go like this. So it pretty much makes an L with the command block right there. And then you place the button right here. So right now, you have your oh, simple basic no. setup for a command block. If you recall, which you probably will since that's one of the steps, right here when I gave myself this oh so yeah I put slash give players name instead of players name you want to substitute it with one of these so I would do slash give at the um at sign that's what that is so shift and then two I think that's what it is for max at least and then you either do P R or A P means the person who hits the button or the person who's nearest to the block R is just a random player who gets it and then A is every single player in the server who gets it so we're gonna see who's lucky today um, I'm gonna type in a random number and then they're gonna get 20 of them so this might work. Oh, I was a lucky one. I got 20 pieces of TNT. Now Rick did. Oh, that was weird. Now let's try it with at A, which means it gives it to every single player when you click on it. If you look, Whoa. it just showed Rick in the corner and a little bit of TNT fell. Now, if you do at and then P whoops at P and click on it the closest player gets it you already saw the give one it's just basically the other give command that you would do when you're normally typing a command slash give either at P, at R, or at A, the ID and then the number, you would get it when you push the button. It's slash TP, at P, and then your X, Y, and it's 
your your x, y, and z coordinates. You find these by clicking control or by clicking F and then a little more information about your game comes up. It's these three things. X, Y, Z. You don't need to care about the decimals. The decimals don't matter. All you need to care about is the first couple numbers. So 7, 4, 1, 5, 4, and then 6, 6, 9. Punch them in here. So it's X, Y, Z. Z slash TP at player your X coordinate your Y coordinate and your Z coordinate now when I click it I will teleport into the teleporting world place so now we can go back to the village that we came from that's the name of this village we can go to Rick's village or we can go to David's place so let's go to David's place Again, the command stays the same, slash tp at p, except the coordinates are different. x is 376, y is 4, and z is 800. Sets your spawn point to down here, <coughs> which I will show you how to do. That's what I did in the very beginning. Um... Here, I'll show you right now. You can also set it up different ways, like this. Now, to set your spawn point, you do slash spawn point, S P A W N P O I N T, no space, then a space, and then at whatever you want. Right now, I used at A because I wanted to make all the players that are in the game spawn there. So, whenever they die, they'll spawn in the teleporting place. And there's also another thing where if you do spawn point at whatever, so at A, one of these three, you can type in X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I could say, then when I die at the end of the thing, teleport there. See how I. Rick, can you kill yourself? Uh -huh. Now when Rick dies. If you look up in that corner, he will teleport at that coordinate, which apparently doesn't exist, so he's just sitting there. Oh, he's... I don't know, it has work. He's loading. His computer's probably slow. For this, I use the give command, but I set it up in a different mode. I set it up so when you push this button, they all go off. So you push it, and you get all this. Now, I'll break this open, just to show you what's in here. So basically, again, it's the L, like everything. It starts with the L, and then it goes over here to a redstone repeater, which repeats it onto here, which is a platform that goes to the box. And then, once again, it happens right here. Comes around the corner with another redstone repeater, and it does the same exact thing. So, when you push it, they all power up. For new players, I think there's a sign. Nope. Never mind. <coughs> For new players, you can have a button that changes their game mode. Here. Um, push the button and you change your game mode and also give you XP see at the bottom but it only does it to a certain point where you can get to the highest level now as I already went over you can change your game mode also now to change your game mode you do slash game mode like you would normally do when you want to change your game mode with command slash game mode and then the game mode that you want to change to so obviously you'd like to change to creative over survival for right now if you're a newcomer into my world 
so you want it to be creative. So just to recap, it's slash game mode space creative. Then you want to do one of your targets at closest player, at a random player, or at every single player in the server. That's it for that. And then you can do the opposite for survival. We're having fun blowing stuff up. Yeah. You yeah. could just type in survival right there. Also. Oh my God! Oh. One block away from the another portal. <coughs> nice. But it's being covered with cancer. Now, to give yourself XP, again, you do the same command that you'd expect to do, and that you would normally do, minus the name. So you do slash, the letter X, and then the letter P, space, the amount of XP you want to give, and then your target. We've already gone over that. So slash, the letter X, letter P, space, the amount of XP, space, your target player. Slash, weather, and then thunder. Is Bill Echo in? No. Alright, I'm not putting that. Change the weather to raining. And then when you want to change it to good weather, you do. Okay. Slash weather clear. And then eventually it stops raining. Eventually. Now, again, this is another sequence of stuff of, uh, Redstone just goes through and powers blocks. Same with the other side. To give you an example of the uh, evil person lighting the land on fire. Come here, Steve. Oh, I'm almost got him. I'm there. Oh! And he didn't make it. Of course, it affected me too, but the fact. Will you change that game mode? Because I'm like starving from hunger. You can. <coughs> but Rick, is your is your fire still there, Rick? Um. Oh, the thing on the feed. No, the the fire, like your flint and steel. Uh no, it's all gone. See, you went away. For someone to do this. They have to do slash clear a target player and what the ID of what you want to get rid of. So if you want to sh um, get rid of somebody's stuff completely, you do slash clear and then we'll say at all. Even though I'm the only one on the server, hit it. And all my items go away. The block has way more commands and stuff that it can do. And if I went over it, this video would be like five hours long. It's already too long. It's already very long. But it would be way too long. So I'm just not going to go over all of that. Um, I'll go over that. on. I'll give you a link for you guys to go on and then get it. And to wrap this up, we're just going to have a nice little bonfire. And, yeah. Fun bonfire. No, they can't leave yet. I just need to deal with them. And that's pretty much the entire tutorial for what to do. And a few little ideas about the amazing block. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Comment any suggestions that you would like us to do a tutorial on. Um, tell us ways for us to improve because this is our very first tutorial. I'm stealing from this. And tell us basically anything that you want. And definitely subscribe.